Damn, son, where'd you find this? KEXP Studios, it's the Coat Hangers playing tonight at Numo's.
Very nice. Love it. The Coat Hangers live on KEXP. Tonight they play at Numo's. It's the Suicide Squeeze 20th anniversary party with Childbirth, Guantanamo Baywatch, yeah. and Audacity. And you've been with that label for a long time. Nosebleed Weekend, your fifth full-length album, the fourth on Suicide Squeeze. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Suffice it to say, you've been making music with this uh, group for a long time. And in reading articles about the band and interviews with the band, it kind of seems like you've reached kind of a zen place. <laughs> yeah, I think like uh, after 10 years, we kind of just, you know, plateaued emotionally at least, you know, <laughs> like uh, <clears throat> found, a, found a nice place to still create and be creative, but not like freak out as much, <laughs> you know, yeah. not be so like trepidatious about what's going to happen in the future. Because turns out this is our future. <laughs> turns out we did it. Well, I imagine so many years together as well, you kind of can, you know, vibe off each other, almost finish each other's musical sentences. Do you feel like that leaves you room <laughs> to kind of mine new territory and try new things? Yeah, I think we're able to be honest with each other, you know, and, um, and to push each other to be better. And that's why we, like, switch up instruments and stuff, it's just because it, it, it disturbs the dynamic and it makes us uncomfortable, which is really good. And it makes the live shows really fun. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> fun for us, too, because like, oh, yeah, take this. <laughs> yeah, Trade. Yeah. Well, um, I asked about trying new things, and I, I think this is the first time that you've recorded a record, a full-length record, outside of Atlanta, which is your hometown. Yeah. Tell me about the decision behind that. We always wanted to. I remember walking around, like, you know, California and being like, oh, it would be so nice if we could just isolate ourselves somewhere and record and write and then we had the opportunity to do that so we did that in Los Angeles <laughs> just you know secluded ourselves wrote exclusively just like every day <clears throat> from morning to night and then recorded there and didn't have the distraction which is a lovely distraction home is a lovely distraction but didn't have that to kind of like take up the time our minds were really focused on the record so and if I'm not mistaken, this is the first time that you all have put yourselves on the cover of a record. Well, last, last time we record, did. But did our you? faces were covered okay. by our hair. <laughs> so this is the first time we showed our faces. It's not getting any younger. <laughs> <laughs> and Meredith, you, uh, you sort of covered your face, <laughs> covered oh, in blood. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Just a little bit, yeah. Nosebleed Weekend oh. is the name of the new record from the Coat Hangers. So excited to have them in studio today. And yeah. what have you got next? We're going to play Perfume, which is the opening track to the record.
Miles all around for the coat hangers live on KEXP. I'm looking around for a squeaky toy for this next song. <laughs> Julia's just robing. <laughs> so, it's just how I do it, man. The Coat Hangers play tonight at Numo's, the 20th anniversary party for a beloved local label, Suicide Squeeze, and another show tomorrow night celebrating their 20 years at the Neptune Theater. Hey, yeah, costume hey. change ready. <laughs> Julia, Stephanie, Meredith, thank you so much. Tonight they're playing at Numos and on Saturday down in Portland at Project Pabs. Thank you again so much for coming in. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Suicide Squeeze. You've got to tune to KEXP Seattle. Oh my God, that was too much fun. (laughs) Discover great music at kexp.org. Damn, son, where'd you find this?